Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is all about factoring polynomials with common monomial factor using algebraic types. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we answer the following examples class, I have here the following algebraic types. This is equivalent to x squared. This is positive x. This will be positive 1. So this is positive x squared, positive x, and then positive 1. Now, if you rotate this one class, this positive x squared, when you rotate this one, you will have negative x squared, the red one. If you rotate this positive x, you will have negative x. If you rotate this positive 1, you will have negative 1. So this is positive x squared, positive x, positive 1, negative x squared, negative x, and then negative 1. Now, you will be asking questions, sir, why is it x squared? Now, this is x squared plus because the length, once again, plus the length is x. The length is x and then the width is also x. If you want to get the measure of the area or the area of this given object, simply multiply the length and the width. Once again, plus to get the area of this object, to get the measure of this object, the length is x, the width is x. If you multiply x times x, Therefore, this is x squared. Once again, that's why we have x squared because the length is x, the width is x. If you multiply length times the width, therefore, that would be x squared. So this is x squared. This one right here is x because the length is x. And then the width is positive 1. If you multiply x times 1, therefore, that would be x. That would be 1x or x. We can just simply write x. Once again, x times 1, that would be x. And this one... The length is 1, and then the width is 1. If you multiply 1 times 1, that's why we have positive 1. Okay, once again, I hope it's clear for you. Why do we call this one x squared? This is x squared because the length is x, the width is x. If you multiply x times x, therefore, this is x squared. This is x because the length is x, and then the width is 1. x times 1, that would be x. And this is positive 1. If you rotate, if you rotate this one, this will be negative x squared. If you rotate this one, this will be negative x. If you rotate this one, the red one, this will be negative 1. So let's have example number 1 class for you to really understand this one. How to factor this out using algebraic types. Alright, so example number 1, our given, we have 4x squared plus 6x. So this will be our guide class. We need to form a rectangle. So once again, we have 4x squared. So 1x squared, 2x squared. 3x squared and then 4x squared and then we have positive 6x so 1x 2x 3x 4x 5x and then 6x now we need to form a rectangle class this will be our guide so we need to form a rectangle so we can divide this one how about this one yep 2 and then 2 1x squared and then 2x nope Nope, we cannot combine that one. How about 2 and then 2 and then 3? Can we do that? 2x squared and then 3x. Yep. Yep. Equal, right? We have 3x and then 2x squared. We have 2x squared and then 3x. Yep. How about this one? We can form a rectangle. Because a while ago, if we connect this one, we have 3x squared. And then we connect this one. Let's see if we can form a rectangle. So once again, plus to factor this out, plus you need to form a rectangle. So form a rectangle. Nope, we cannot form a rectangle, right? Nope, we cannot form a rectangle. So how about we have 2x squared, 2x squared. On the top part, we have 2x squared. On the bottom part, we have 2x squared. And then we divide this one 6 by 3. Okay, divide this one by 3. 3 and then 3. Yup. 3. 3 and then 3. Yup. Yup. All set. Therefore, we form a rectangle. Now, once you form a rectangle class, that's it class. That would be the factor class. Just simply get the width and then the length. That would be our answer class. Okay, once again, just simply get the measure of the length and then the measure of the width. So the width and the length, that would be your factor. Alright, so therefore, the measure of this one, we have x. Once again, this is x, right? A while ago, this is x. Okay, once again, class, the measure of this one, this is x and then x. So therefore, this is x. So we can measure this one, yup. This is x and then another x, yup. 
Once again, class, to get the factor, class, simply get the measure of the width and then the measure of the length. So, this is x and this is another x. So, therefore, we have 2x. So, therefore, the width, that would be 2x, right? This is x and then another x. So, x plus x, that would be 2x. On the top part, the measure, this is x. x and then another x. So, therefore, this will be 2x. 2x. Now, what will be the measure of this one class? This one right here. On the top part, the small one. Now, since this is positive 6x, so therefore, we can have the measure of positive 1, right? Do they have the same measure? Yup, same measure on the top part. Once again, the same measure on the top part, this one right here. Yup, same measure, 1. We put another 1. Yup, we put another 1. Once again, because we need to have positive 1 because this is positive 6x. So the measure, we have positive 3. So therefore, this is positive 3. That's it, class. That would be the answer with regards to example number 1. Our greatest common factor, that would be 2x. So we have 2x for the width. And then multiply by the length. So we have 2x plus 3. That's it, class. All set. That's the answer with regards to example number 1, class, using the algebraic tile. So we can check our answer by distributive property. Once again, class, we can check our answer by distributive property. So, our given a while ago, we have 4x squared plus 6x. Then, our answer, we have 2x and then quantity 2x plus 3. So, once again, class, you will know that you factor it out correctly by doing distributive property. Simply multiply this one. 2x times 2x. What's the answer, class? That's correct. That would be 4x squared. And then 2x times positive 3, 2 times 3 is 6, positive 6, simply copy x. Yup, you will have the same answer. So therefore, you factor it out correctly using the algebraic tax. So I hope it's clear for you, class, how to factor this out using the algebraic tax. So let's have example number 2 for you to really understand this one. So our answer with regards to example number 1, there would be 2x quantity 2x plus 3. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 2. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 2. We have given 5x squared plus 2x. So we have 5x squared. So this is 1x squared. Alright, so 2x squared. Do it step by step. 3x squared. And then we don't have enough space. How about this one? 4x squared. So we have 4x squared and then 5x squared. Alright, and then we have positive 2x. So we use the green one. This is 1x. And then we have 2x. Can we form a rectangle? Nope. We cannot form a perfect rectangle because we do have a space right here. So how about if we make it into one row? We continue this one. We don't have enough space, class. Let me just get another whiteboard, class. Okay, another whiteboard. Alright, so how about this one? We don't have enough space a while ago. So let's continue this one. We have 1x squared. Let's make it into one row. 2x squared. 3x squared. 4x squared, 5x squared, and then we have this one, 1x and then 2x. Can we form a rectangle? Yup, we can form a perfect rectangle, right? So this is a perfect rectangle. So we form a rectangle, so therefore we can factor this out. So to find the factor, simply get the measure of the length and then the width. So our width, this is equivalent to x, right? The measure of this one plus this is x. So we have x and then another x. So our width is x. So therefore our width is x. So this is x for the width. And then we have 1x for the length. 1x, 2x, 3x, okay, 3x, 4x, and then 5x. So we have x, and then for the length, we have 5x, right? So x for the width, and then for the length, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x. So as that's the measure of this one, plus this one right here, class. This is x, right? This is x, so we have 1x, another x, 3x, 4x, and then 5x. So this is 5x right here. So we have 5x, and then the measure for this one. This one right here, class. Once again, class, this one right here, same measure with positive 1. Okay, same measure with positive 1. This is positive 2x, so therefore we need to use positive 1. So we have 
positive 1, and then positive 2. So this will be positive 2. That's it, plus. So therefore, plus our answer, we have x for the width, and then multiplied by 5x plus 2. That's the answer class with regards to example number 2. This will be the factor class. X quantity 5X plus 2. Even if we check this one class with descriptive property, let's multiply. X times 5X, that would be 5X squared. X times positive 2, that would be positive 2X. Same answer class. Alright, so therefore the answer we have... X, so our answer a while ago, we have X and then multiplied by 5X plus 2. All set plus all set with regards to example number 2. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 3, our last example, example number 3. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 3. So our given, we have 6X minus 8. So we have positive 6X, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. And then we have negative 8, so therefore we'll be using the red one. We have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and then negative 8. Alright, so can we group this one by 2? How about by 2? Yep, 2 and then 2. How about this one? Can we group this one by 2? Yep, 1, 2, 3. 2 and then 2. So there would be 4 2's and then 3 2's. So therefore, we can illustrate this one. We can form a rectangle by 2. This one by 2. And then by 2. No, we don't have enough space. We can group this one by 2. Nope, we don't have enough space. So let's use another whiteboard. So once again, our given, we have 6x minus 8. Alright, so let's use another whiteboard just because we don't have enough space. Alright, so we have positive 6x. So let's group this one by 2. Positive 6x. So 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Alright, and then we have negative 8. So negative 1, negative 2. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and then negative 8. So can we form a rectangle with this one? Yep, we can form a rectangle, right? This is a perfect rectangle. Yep, there would be a perfect rectangle. So what would be our factors? So once again, we have positive 6x. What would be the measure of this one class? So therefore, the measure, that would be positive 2, right? Once again, this is positive 6x, so therefore, the measure of this one, we have positive 1 and then another positive 1, so therefore, this is 2, right? So the width is 2, and then the length, we have x, so this is x, right? So this is x, okay, the measure of this one, this is positive 1, another positive 1, so this is 2, and this will be x, so 1x... 2x and then 3x so this is 3x now since we have negative these are negative numbers so we have negative 1 for the measure so we have negative 1 so this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and then negative 4 Alright, so we have, this is positive 3x, so 1, 2, 3, we have 3x, so this is 3x, and then we have negative 4, minus 4. Okay, once again, this is negative 4, because these are negative numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that would be negative 4. So therefore, our factors, that would be 2, multiplied by 3x minus 4. That's it, plus. That's the answer, class, with regards to example number 3. So let's check our answer. 2 times 3x, that's correct, that would be 6x. 2 times negative 4, that would be negative 8. That's the answer class with regards to example number 3. So that would be, so our answer, we have 2, open parenthesis, 3x minus 4. That's it class, that's how you use this algebraic times class. 
All right, so how about you try this one, class? And then you put your answer in the comment section down below. Try this one, 2x plus 10. What will be the factors? And then you put your answer on the comment section down below. So once again, guys, I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.